Barnes and Leslie, your morning acts. It used to be, once upon a time, Barnes, Leslie, and Jimmy. I vaguely remember. That guy. Mm. Oh, yeah. look, wait, here he is. JB, what's going on? Jimmy. It's it's that today. Yeah. Today is, right? Today's what? It is Barnes, Leslie, well, and Jimmy. For right now, for this segment. For the second. Barnes, Leslie, and Jimmy. You can't stay out of the news, man. You get in the news, the Springsteen craziness everyone's freaking out about, you know, and they thought it was fun to have you on. Then I turn my, turn, two seconds. And you're right back in the news. Well, and one of the biggest events of the week, and Jimmy Barron's in the middle of it. Yeah, last week. And, and I'm like, Zelig. The, okay, in fairness, I just posted what I thought was like a funny story, and then I get a call saying the AJC wants to do a story on it. I'm like, well, this isn't really a news story. It was like a funny little th- life thing that happened to me, and it's in the news. And then people are commenting negatively about me because the newspaper's writing about it. I'm like, well, I didn't write it. Yeah. The AJC wrote about it. I didn't write about it. We'll tell everybody what happened. So we have the radio exclusive. This is a funny right. story, though. You were last week, what, you went to Chicago for a wedding and the convention? Well, I went to Chicago for a wedding, and uh, one of the co-chairs is actually an old friend of mine, and I was texting with him on the plane, saying, hey, how was it? Because this was, um, this would have been Wednesday morning or Tuesday morning. It was the day after the first night. So I was just texting my friend saying, hey, how was it last night? And he was kind of giving me a, you know, rundown of how it was. And uh, then he said, hey, you know, would you like to go one of the nights? To the convention. To the, yeah, to the DNC. And I'm like, yeah, heck, yeah, I'd like to go to any any major political convention I think would be very cool to go to. I mean, it's, I think no matter what side you fall on, just going to see that circus live would be entertaining. Oh, exactly. That's the whole thing. I would have gone to any of them. Yeah. So I said, yeah, absolutely. No problem. Fortunately, because I was going, um, you know, for a wedding, I had my suit with me. So... Uh, we get off the plane. I had put my suit, you know, crumbled my suit jacket up like men do up in the overhead compartment between a makeup bag and a tennis racket. <laughs> and uh, and by the way, someone has said to me since then, well, doesn't didn't the stewardess bring it to you from the closet? I'm like, no, that's where Barnes sits. <laughs> no. Yeah. Where Barnes sits. Yeah. The, 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 yeah. the stewardess says, may I take your coat, Mr. Barnes? May I hang it up in the closet? Where Guys, like I sit, it's crumpled up yeah, in the whatever. overhead compartment. Anyway, so we're waiting uh, at the curb for my sister. Kira and I are waiting for the my sister to pick us up at the curb. And I look down, I realize I've taken, this is not my jacket. <gasps> this is not my suit jacket. Jimmy, how, did, how? how can you leave and have, how do you not look at it and go, this is not my jacket. Well, my jacket was a black jacket. This one was like a dark ch- charcoal jacket. They were. It was up in the dark compartment of the overhead bin. I just reached up there, saw it, and pulled it out. I can see where this could happen. Yeah. Clearly, two people with dark jackets had put their jackets mm-hmm. up there. But even the smell coming off the jacket probably. Oh, Barnes. The know. smell. Stop Do you it. smell your own jacket? You smell your Stop clothes it. when you take it. You smell your every. <laughs> no, but when you pull someone else's, you can definitely smell that other person on the clothes. That's all I'm saying. What are you talking about? I, 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 would, know know talk- my ja- I would know my jacket. Leslie, what is he talking about? I would know my jacket. I have no idea. I could totally <laughs> see the mix up here. It could happen to anybody. If, if the guy was like a smoker or something, I could probably right. smell the smoke on it. But who smells someone else's clothes? So um, <laughs> so I'm looking at Kira and I'm like, oh, she. Crap, I took someone's jacket. Of course, she gives me the look like, of course you did. See? Yeah. That's what you do. Yeah. So you go, this was all the way, you were all the way outside? I'm at the curb, waiting for my sister Patty to pick us up. So I'm like, I don't even know what to do. The plane's been on the ground for a half hour. I started actually thinking to myself, well, I'm wearing black pants. Does this go with it? I don't have that much time here. What do I, I don't even know where to start. Anyway, Kira says, Hey, look in the jacket because maybe the person's name is in the jacket. I'm like, maybe the person's name is in the jacket. We're not eight. <laughs> <laughs> From the playground. The grown men don't put their names in their clothes. We're not going to camp. So uh, anyway, I look in. Sure enough, it was a custom made suit. Ooh. Oh, way to go, Kira. And it says, no, I didn't know this because I don't have any custom clothes. Barnes, do you have any custom suits? Dude. <laughs> of course not. Men's warehouse. Anyway, <laughs> not, not only custom. If it's not at the friends and family Macy's once a year sale, I don't even yeah. have it. 
uh, I look in it and it says custom made for, it has the guy's name in it. So I'm like, yeah, well, this is good. So I go to the baggage claim because that's where you go for lost luggage. I had to go into the room oh. where everyone's unhappy. Yes. Don't like that room. Stuffy. Right? Baggage services. It's gloom. Right. Nobody's happy in that room. That's got to be the worst place to work. <laughs> Ever. And you know everybody in there is mad and is going to yell at you. Yes. I go in, I say, hey, um, look, I walked off the, this plane, you know, half hour ago. Here's the flight number. I accidentally took this guy's jacket. Uh, but the good news is uh, there's a name in it. Maybe you can check the manifest and see, you know, if the guy was on my flight. I'm sure he was. So she checks. Sure enough, the guy was sitting two rows behind me. My first reaction is, what is a guy with custom suits sitting in row 34? Sitting in coach. Yeah. yeah. Doing in right. coach. Right. Exactly. So uh, she calls up to the gate. And the gate agent says, oh, yeah, there's a guy here who says he picked up the wrong suit jacket and he's looking for his suit jacket. Wow. He has mine and I have his. So they send the guy down and this guy walks down. You know, he's holding my suit jacket. Big strapping, good looking male model kind of like, you know, <laughs> suit is totally looks custom fit. And um and, and I said, oh, we profusely apologize to each other. And he even says, you know, oh, I'm very sorry. He, I have a little pin on my lapel that he recognized as not being his. And he said, I knew it wasn't my suit, but I couldn't find mine. I know we're sorry. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Oh, no, I'm an idiot. And we exchanged suits. And I said, I'm glad I got back to you. And he says, yeah, I, I really need it because I'm actually speaking this afternoon at the Democratic National Convention. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Only you. I'm like, holy cow. I'm like, I'm going, actually, it turns out. He says, yes, that would have been, I would have had to go out and get a new suit. I'm you know, speaking at the United Center in front of 18,000 people. Basically, he's saying, I'm not wearing your jacket. Or, and, oh, by the way, he's like 6'2". Can you see him coming out with Jimmy's jacket <laughs> stretching apart? <laughs> like, hey, everyone. Exactly. Tell everyone who it was. Uh, the guy was Jeff Duncan, who is the former lieutenant governor of Georgia, who oh. was all, you know, he, he was one of the two Republicans speaking at the Democratic convention, the other being Adam Kinzinger, who spoke the next day. Anyway, and as I saw him up on the screen at the United Center, all I could think of was, see how well dressed he is? It's because of me. I'm looking at a photo. He He's handsome. He's handsome. Can you imagine, Leslie, when he opened up that jacket and was like, what is this? This was yeah. a, like right. 2007 <laughs> clearance sale from you know Nordstrom uh, Rack. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> There's no question about it. Jacket. So it was kind of a fun. So wow, I told the story, and then the AJC picked it up because, of course, that's wow, very newsworthy, Barnes. You need to come back to the radio, man. It's a calling. It's everyone. Tra- it's it's the the earth is trying to pull you back in. I, I you know these things happen. Have I ever said no to you? When you've asked no. me to come on the uh, show. I don't think so. No. Uh, no. Yeah, that's nope. a good point. Nope. We hung out this weekend. We went to big the Steve Show's induction into the Georgia Radio Hall of Fame. Correct. And uh, congratulations uh, to Steve from the Steve Show starring Steve because it's well-deserved. Big news. And uh, Barnes, did, uh, Barnes introduced him and did a, I got to say, he did a great job. He kept it tight. Had a couple of funny lines. Oh, thank you. Barnes, would you want to tell Jimmy what you said about you and Jimmy? Ooh, what did I say? Being in the radio. Oh, no, he knows. Well, I was there. That was part of my speech. Yeah. Uh, part of my speech was that everyone's in but us and that this was the closest we're ever going to get. Right. Just being there. Right. We were at the yeah, dinner. visiting. <laughs> we were at, we yeah, didn't get a plaque, but we were at the dinner. <laughs> we you turn from there and it's all back down. Yeah. All right, dude. Good to see you. <laughs> you too, guys. Thanks, JB. And uh, Steve will be up here at the top of the hour, so we'll tell him your congrats again. But it was good to hang, and we'll chat with you soon. Later. Jimmy's back with the morning X. He's back with the morning X. But don't get used to it. No, don't do it. Because we can't afford it. Ain't got no cash. Jimmy is back one day only with Barnes and Leslie on 99X. On 99X. The Morning X with Barnes and Leslie on 99X.